Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? It's me doing a YouTube video. I'm really kind of excited to make this video because I got a new camera. And uh, we're going to see how this looks and sounds. I've gotten so ripped off. All my videos are atrocious to listen to because the audio just sucks. All the cameras that I have. the uh, Even the, the highest quality that I've been able to achieve has been accompanied by... the some of the worst sound I've heard on YouTube. So this is a new camera. This is the first YouTube video I've attempted to make with it. And we're going to see how this goes. This might be kind of long because i got a lot to show and a lot to talk about. What you're looking at is uh, some Perry uh, plastic 28 millimeter Wars of the Roses. Lancaster and York. Got a couple of these boxes. This one's just... This one's a... Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have seen these. Um, the Mercenaries and the Wars of the Roses Infantry box set. A whole bunch of figgies. And I got more. My mom got me some for my birthday. First person drinkage. That's super chill. That's like a uh, generic Sprite. It's not very good for you, but it's very good for me. So, um, a few things that I have... First of all, I, I love I love these things. This is probably the nicest plastic set I've ever uh, messed around with. The bolt action stuff's pretty nice, but this is for some reason a lot more fun and to paint as well. Um, they're plastic, so of course you know they have like a lot of the uh, typical you know mold lines you got to scrape. Let's see how close we can get. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, the sides of the legs will have a pretty brutal mold line. So you got to clean that off. And for me, um, where the arms attach, like this one's not too bad. Like this one would be acceptable for me. But um, a lot of them, like this dude, after you get them stuck together, what the, f what the hell's going on with this? His, what it is is the arms are super padded with the armor underneath, so it'd probably be better to stick these on a body that's more um, more bulky for them to look like that. But you can uh, every video I make that I get a you know, text message in the middle of it. Um, you can you can fix this problem by just bulking up the um, the body with green stuff. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Like this, not not this one, but you see, it's just they're missing something when you when you attach the arms on. Like, these arms probably go on, you know, they're, they're kind of meant for this body. But once you stick them on, well, it looks something's not right. Almost like the arms are a little bit big for the bodies, to me, to mine eyes. So what I do is just kind of a little tiny sausage of green stuff and uh, some patient, steady hand, rubber sculpting tools and Vaseline. And it kind of, you know, it bulks them up a little bit brings that sleeve up over the arm and now it looks like the arms actually coming out of the uh, the coat or tunic or jacket or shirt or whatever you'd like to call it like this guy looked really bad he looked way out of proportion uh, hold on please I'm about to answer a phone call Alright. Not important. Um, anyway, this guy looked really, really bad. He needed he needed uh, quite a bit of green stuff to bulk him up, but once he's bulked up, I think that looks perfect. So, here's another one that's been fixed. Quite a few of them have had this. Uh, actually, every single one of them. Even though this one I said was uh, acceptable, I'm still going to add just a little bit just a little little tiny bit around his uh, armor jacket just to make it look a little better because once you do like it they, here's a painted guy I'll show you some painted completions once you uh, see it looks like this the, the male coat is coming out of out from underneath the outer coat yeah, makes sense, right? 
and the kit comes with like 12 different bodies plus four separate command more armored bodies or there are two of them that are the same so you get two different skulls but you get four of them but it comes with enough pieces to make quite a few um, different looking dudes and these are kind of truer scale 28 millimeter as a lot of you probably know that's a that's tiny faces more more tricky to paint than your usual like games workshop faces some of these eyes they don't really have the eyeball sculpted onto them they just have more of a eye um, eyelids like this guy can't see any, might very much face like a little bit of chin sticking out but uh other than that the faces are really tricky to paint oh I didn't finish that that's nice but um there Wars of the Roses, which is a, kind of a tricky period to research. There's really not a whole lot on the internet that's not uh, really boring to read. There's not a lot of documentaries. I like just figuring out, I like finding out stuff from just documentaries. I can sit and paint and, and then listen. But um, what I have found out, there's not a whole, there's not really that many battles were fought in that period truthfully there were only a few like decisive you know battles and um as far as their their colors their their livery or livery colors however you'd say it um they're um i didn't want to be restricted to any of the yorks or lancastrians i just wanted to paint them up kind of cool and like the first little group is you know i stuck with blue and yellow that's my my go-to medieval colors. I think they look cool together. I'm just blabbing on while I show you some of these dudes. And hopefully this video sounds and looks good. We're at the seven and a half minute mark approximately. See the faces are really tricky to paint for me I've been you know spending a lot of my time sculpting in the past you know a couple of years year and a half maybe seriously sculpting and um, I got these mainly for a reference I wanted to I wanted to see how I wanted to see the proportions and um, I really like the Perry Perry stuff it's pretty impressive I am impressed with this camera as well. If I can get good lighting, we can get really close up. What the hell's going on? Let's see. Hmm. Who does that look like? Oh, some actor. Who does that look like? It's hard to say. But, uh, let's see a few more and I'll show you. Try to go a little quicker here. He's pretty awesome. And, uh, a little shout out to Ringo Simpkins and his yellow painting. It's not, it's not easy, dude. I finally figured it out, but I'm still not, you know, real thrilled. But after spending so much time sculpting, I, I had to kind of relearn how to paint. And I'm using a bunch of old, really crappy Games Workshop paints. So that's why some of this doesn't look that, I mean, doesn't look very um, smooth. What is on the end of my finger? Good. It's annoying. There's a few more that I... Um, there's not a lot of conversion possibility. You don't really need to convert them that much. I mean, as, as, as far as, you know, filling in, filling in the gaps and taking care of those kind of things, there's so much variation in these, in this, in these kits that you don't really, I don't have to, I don't worry too much about converting. All I've been doing is adding like uh, little goatees and mustaches to a few of these. This guy's got a mustache. 
that I added on just to, you know, change things up so the next time you see this head, it'll be that much more different. And, uh, there's another mustache. Kind of reminds me of, uh, Walter White. Kind of, huh? Kind of a Heisenberg looking goatee. If it was darker, it's kind of, kind of reddish to be a Heisenberg, but whatever. And here's... Master Robin. See, when I, I sculpted um, his strap around his body, and then a, a um, what's the word for a thing that holds arrows? Whatever. And I just packed in like twice as many arrows as all the rest of the guys have. Gave him a cool sword. It's Robin Hood. Robin of Loxley. I had a mustache. I gave him a cool. Nice thick Robin Hood mustache, and the kid also has plenty of these like armored, really nicely armored dudes. This was uh, I painted him like four times before I was finally happy with the shiny armor. I put the sword on the wrong side. It's really nice. So the sword should be hanging off where the belts hang down right there, but it's hanging right there. So, let's see, is there anything else I didn't show? These are just some, like, uh, works in progress. This guy, I'm attempting to uh, sculpt armor on his legs. It's because he's got an armored torso, but just uh, regular regular tights. I'm trying to make those legs look like these legs here. See, he's just got the tights on. And then you uh, sculpt the armor around that. Mine's a little, a little bulkier. And some of these armored guys, I'm bulking up the armor on the shoulders as well. Bulking, bulking, bulking. That's just a uh, guy's waiting to be finished. I've got um, like this arm needed a whole sleeve. To match that arm so it looked like he's walking Christopher walking I'm adding some like little pouches where they keep some uh, dead frogs or whatever and some arrow holders and there's some more waiting to be um, finished like here's this guy cranking up the uh, crossbow Isn't that cool what a cool, what a cool thing. There's some old mines got to work on. And also, the, um, they also make, uh, they, meaning the Perry Miniatures, makes this mounted men-at-arms, dudes on horses in shiny armor. So, that's pretty badass. But I've only put together a few of those, and they are, uh, they're a tricky bastard because one, painting horses is something new to me and uh, painting this shiny armor is also something I have not done before but I'm pretty happy with the horse but the armor kind of bothers me it looks good on the on, on camera though so I'm, I'm going to leave it alone Who's that guy? And different type of armor. And you glue that on. That's you add all this armor onto the horse. The, there's like a horse head that's armored, and then you add all the other armored pieces. There's this kind of armor. I think this is the hmm, some kind of armor, Italian or German, or vice versa. This is the Italian or German. I don't know exactly. Is that cool? But well, still working out how to do this shiny armor stuff. It's pretty tricky. Yeah, I thought there was a yeah, there's a third one. Just got the armor and the skin worked out.
And that's not gray plastic, that's gray primer. And also the bases, um, Tristan using the um, Renedra green uh, bolt action bases. These are the ones I'm using, these are uh, nylon washers. If you run out of the, the good green bolt action bases, check your local har hardware store, h h h hardware store, and maybe you could find these 25 millimeter um, nylon washers, and they work just as good. They're the same exact size, height and, and width too. But um, for the horses, I had to cut them <laughs> and make a little, uh, yeah, little gap filler. Look at that. There's some of the sand that seeped in and some of the uh, orange tacky stuff that I used to hold them down to the corks. What a mess. Anyway, this has gone on quite long enough. I've still got other things to show you guys. Oh, I want to show you one more dude. This is probably my favorite guy. I don't know why he looks, he just looks mean. There you go. Is there any other cool ones? What, might have a, it's me, Mario. And he kind of looks like a Luigi. I'll, I'm going to repaint, I don't like the red and black. So a couple of these red and black ones are going to get redid. I might do this one green, because he reminds me of Luigi. Maybe I'll make another one with, uh, that's, that's kind of like Mario. Come on, focus. He's kind of Mario looking. Yeah. But I like his paint job already, so. I'm just wasting time and valuable internet storage space with this video. But it's a test. That looks like somebody too. Who does that look like? Yeah, some of these people look, or some of these, uh, some of these dudes look like people. There you go. Uh, one more. This one's my, this one's me. And that's, I'm gonna paint that dog like my dog. Yeah. Oh, it's a Games Workshop dog from the Bretonian peasants or uh, men at arms or the archers. One of the two. There you go. Alright, I'm done. I'm done. This is over. Sculpting tools. Green stud.